Hi, and welcome to my next video. Um, cool fog, it's almost 2017. And today we're going to be talking about um, Arturia Analog Lab 2. And you can get Analog Lab 2 for half price right now. It's December 9th. 2016 and it's on sale right now um, $80 I believe half price 80 so it's like 40 I think it's 40 US maybe okay so anyways but that's a, an amazing okay what is analog lab 2 Arturia they make VSTs that emulate hardware like this little picture here, you can see all of these, this room full of hardware from the 80s and the 70s. And Arturia makes VSTs that emulate these. And each one of these VSTs is, I think, around $150. So if you bought all these VSTs, you're looking at about a lot of money. I think you can buy the whole collection for like $600. But if you get Analog Lab 2, which don't be confused, that $80, $40 price gives you Analog Lab 2. You don't have to upgrade to Analog Lab 2. So that's the price for the upgraded version of Analog Lab 2. Now I don't want to blow your speakers off so there's a little drawbar organ but I'll have to say that just letting you know that uh, I have to tip my hat at Arturia because I've been avoiding Arturia for a long time don't ask me why but I bought a lot of VSTs I bought native instruments I bought um, Max MSP and Cycling 74, um, Z3TA, F Expansion Guru, uh, Rapture, Cakewalk Rapture, Dimension Pro, um, Tasman. So I've had a lot of uh, and then these are all the ones that come with Cubase. So I've tried a lot of VSTs and I have to say I've been avoiding Arturia for a long time, don't ask me why. Well there's a lot of companies I haven't tried for sure that make VSTs. But I have to say I have to tip my hat to Arturia because these sound amazing. They've got that detail in the sound that is so inspiring you play the presets and it just makes you want to play more and it makes you want to create um, I can't remember how many presets it's like I think it's 2000 presets so what our analog lab is, a, is it gives you sounds from their whole collection Arturia's whole collection of hardware since you get the sounds. I'm getting a bit of feedback. I apologize um, for my mic. Um, so yeah, so you get a whole bunch of sound sounds from each of their hardware synths. But a lot of preset players don't allow you to configure each sound, and that's where this one's very very different because. As you can see from these buttons here and these sliders here, you have a whole lot of control of the presets as well, and then you can store them. So it's almost like having the power. You don't have 100% of the power of all these, of owning all of these VSTs, but you have quite a bit of the power of it. So what an amazing deal. I mean, you get, you know, a big slice of the power of all of Arturia's VSTs for $40, even at $80, that's a really good deal.
Okay, now I'm going to plug something else. There's a little company called, or there's a little, another, I don't know what the name of the company is. Midi Shaper, here, Cable Guys. And here's a little BST called Midi Shaper. I'm running 64-bit and everything. So I just reinstalled 8.1 Windows Professional on a um, Corsair, I think it was. Crucial, a Crucial SSD. So I finally moved up to getting an SSD. And I installed my 8.1, did all of the updates, 200 or more updates, and it's working flawlessly. All my plugins are 64-bit, Cubase is 64-bit, even though my Cubase is ancient. Um, but everything's working, you know, pretty flawlessly now with all of the updates. Make sure you do all the updates because they're not going to run good without them. But anyways, back to Cable Guys. Cable Guys, here's a little little VST called MIDI Shaper for $20, I think it was. It's very cheap. Now I'm going to tell you what MIDI Shaper does. As from the name, it has MIDI. You can choose a wave right here, up here. You can create your own wave. You can, you know what I mean? You can make your own wave. Boom. And then that's wave one. Then you can do hertz sync, beat synced, and you can choose from all these. And then you can choose a speed, 0.375 hertz. And then you can choose a control channel, channel three. And you can choose the amount, 30%. Okay, so remember that MIDI Shaper, $20. I'm plugging this, Cable Guys MIDI Shaper. It's a really cool VST. So you get that going in your Cubase. And then you feed it into the track, like Analog Lab. And then if everything works right, you hit this. Okay, let's get out of this. So here's, if I hit this button at the top of Analog Lab, you can see all of the presets now. And you can sort the presets by instrument, playlist, characteristic banks. So, oh here, let's choose strings. Six violins. Oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Like I said, people, I mean, I have my hat goes off to Tiet. T Arturia. I've tried I avoided T Arturia for so long and I've tried so many other VSTs. And I'll have to say that Native Instruments has crazy amounts of features. Features that leave you drooling and for sound programming. But when it I don't I haven't tried the latest Native Instruments stuff, so but if it comes down to sheer sound quality, Arturia's nailed it. And oh I think that's what everybody wants, right? So, okay, so, like I said, what you get is you get something like 2,000 VST uh, presets, something like that, I can't remember. But I mean, it's over 2,000, 2,000 or more. And then here you can, you can stack them. So if you hit this little button here at the top, you can take something else. So I had the strings, and you can throw something on top of that. Boom. So now you have two presets side by side. Oh, sorry.
Oh, it so works so flawlessly. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know if you can hear that, but I mean it's got the nuances Arturia really nailed the nuances of hardware synths and I don't know what they did behind the the coding, but man, it's good You can almost close your eyes and and you know you don't have to stretch that much okay so but anyways I went and I talked about MIDI shaper now if I go over to well anyways look at all of the com besides being a preset player look at this whole panel this whole panel allows you to program each of these sounds so you can jump in and you can modify the sound Resonance, cutoff, LFO, oscillator cross modulation, oscill oscillated to course, high pass filter cutoff, envelope attack, decay, sustain. <sighs> that is so, that is like, that is, this has to be the biggest bargain in VSTs out there right now. $40 for this. That's craziness. Okay, so anyways, then I hit the M80. Now look at here, I have my fit, my MIDI shaper is all hooked up and rigged up and ready to go. So I press down and there we go. I just hit that, I hit the MIDI button up here and then you can see and now MIDI shaper is modifying my patch to wet dry. <laughs> And I can use this little window to say min and min max and change other stuff. So I can then I can just move over here and now it's modifying envelope release. Filter envelope modulation cutoff and go to part one. That's pretty ugly, but anyways. So responsive. Once you do all the .NET fixes or whatever. There we go. speakers. Here's FM synthesis. I don't know, I'm sorry if I haven't given you a lot, but... It's so good. $40. Um, Arturia at a log lab to... Uh, anyways, if you're looking for a good bargain for VSTs, anyways, it's a good one. And that's my update, or that's my latest. Um, it's almost 2017, so happy early, happy new year to everybody. Cheers. <laughs>